There is a big misconception with those of you using egg donor, which is this will finally be my guaranteed baby. I want to show you what needs to be in place so that you can have that family of your dreams and not make any costly mistakes when you are already putting in so many costs for. I'm Tasha Blasi, fertility consultant and patient advocate. I went through 10 rounds of hopefully nobody else will ever have to. Right now we collect data from hundreds of women across the globe and put together the best practices for those who want to get and stay pregnant, no matter how, trying to consume naturally using IVF with your own eggs or donor eggs. What I want to share with you is if you are using donor eggs and you've made that decision, that amazing decision, how to make it as successful as possible, okay? It's always gonna be four things that get in the way of your success. Science, space and energy, and the right support. So in terms of the science, I don't know why more people don't talk about this, but the reason why using egg donor to create a child is not a guaranteed baby is because of the transfer. They focus so much on the eggs and making the embryos and so little on that very sensitive, delicate process of the transfer. I am gonna tell you when it comes to me consulting clients, I spend the most time on the transfer because I know what it takes to get that precious embryo, no matter how you got it. And I am not gonna do a trial and error and, make, and, and not make sure that everything is perfect before you dare, dare put that embryo in, right? So for you, right, are, all the diagnostic tests have been done. So we know nothing is gonna block implantation or nothing is gonna block implantation for the next 40 weeks, okay? Timing of the transfer, drug protocols that work best for your body. These are not things to do trial and error, okay? Please take this very seriously. And if you need any help with different types of protocols that will work best for you, please let me know. All right, in terms of space and energy, does your body know it's okay to get pregnant? You've probably already been through too much, okay? I get that. Does your body have enough resources for you and then an abundance of it so that your reproductive organs have enough resources to house and hold a baby? Because if not, and because your body loves you the most, your body's gonna put a time out on your reproductive organs and say, no, 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 Tasha, we need all this for her right? We are not going to give it away. So do you have enough space and energy? Does your body know it's okay to get and stay pregnant? This would be things like, are you as hormonally balanced as possible, right? Have you worked through a lot of that emotional clutter that we all have? Hello, but that, and, and there's enough space, right? In your mind and body for this baby. Okay. Are you running on empty? and feeling like that at all times, and you don't have even enough energy for yourself, and you could tell by how certain ailments are coming out. That's a sign there's not enough energy. So focus on those things, how to naturally balance your hormones and restore energy. Okay, in terms of support, this is more of a mindset play. Yes, of course, you need support people that know what it feels like to be you, but most importantly, know how to help you at any given moment. Now for you, in terms of the support, I want you to think about if some people are totally great and fine with egg donor and expected it, most people I work with, this is, was not their first choice. And, and they are now like, but I, I wanna do anything I can to have a baby. Sooner than later, this is what I choose. No matter whose eggs it is, the perfect child is going to come to you at the perfect time. Okay. So I want you to know that if you are using egg donor and a little bit like, I don't know how to feel about it. I am telling you time and time again with every woman I've worked with that has used an egg donor, the child that shows up is so hers because the individual child that shows up, no matter whose genetics it is, genetics are accessories, by the way, 
okay? No matter whose genetics it is, the child gets to show up when he or she shows up, how he or she shows up, and who he or she shows up as. So if you can take away kind of the idea that DNA matters, because it doesn't, and know that, that the child gets to choose and the perfect child will show up when he or she is ready, okay, that should help you understand and move forward better. And I am telling you, I have seen people, the same woman, have a child with her own eggs and then use egg donor for her second, and there is no difference the second child even looks like her, which is of course like, how is this possible? Because the right child shows up and it's not totally up to us. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful to you. I love it when people, you know, embrace and choose a donor. Know that if you are not okay with it and it's something that you are being told to consider, I would love to evaluate your case for you, but also just know, right? How you think about this process is how the process is. I think about egg donation as a beautiful, perfect resource and strategy and process to creating the family of your dreams because I know that accessories don't really matter for how the child is supposed to show up. All right. I am here for you. If you have not done a complimentary strategy session with me or someone from my team, please go ahead and sign up for one so we can help you get and stay pregnant no matter how you are trying to. I love you, Mama, and I am super, super proud of your decision to move forward with egg donation. It will be perfect no matter what.